Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today I'm going to show you uh, some Wireshark stuff, some packet stuff, and a Cisco configuration thingamajiggy. So how's that for a bunch of info? So we're going to just jump right to it. First thing I'm going to do is uh, set up Wireshark to capture my packets. So there's the start local area connection. I'm going to double click on that guy. And I'm going to set my filter for port telnet. And by using the name, I don't have to type 23 or know what that is, but that's how I'm going to capture the stuff. So I don't want to see all the extra stuff lying around. I just want my telnet stuff. And I'm going to hit start. I'm now it's started. I'm going to come back to my command prompt and I'm going to telnet to my switch. There you go. And I'm just going to press enter a few times. And I know I didn't log in, but that doesn't matter. I just want my three-way handshake and there it is. So there's the packets back from my switch. All right. But if you take a look here, you'll see that um, I don't have two things that I need. And the reason why I need it is I was working with a customer and he was downloading some iOS uh, files to several switches and routers remotely. And it was slow and some of them even timed out. So FTP uses TCP and this is the TCP three-way handshake. And we noticed um, characteristically Cisco devices do not have something called SAC permitted or selective acknowledgments. And the other thing is the window size was 4K, and that's that. So we needed a bigger window size. I'm not going to get into the whys and the wheres. That's that's covered in some other videos. And there's the window size right now. It's 4K, and there's no SAC perm. I have it on my machine, but the switch does not have that. So the customer looked to me and said, well, what are we going to do? It's a Cisco switch. What are we, we can't possibly do anything about that. I said, you know what? There are some configuration parameters you can use. So to his surprise... Uh, we tried this, and I'll show you if it works. So there's the two commands right there, IP TCP selective ACK, and then IP TCP window size 65K. So by doing that, now, if I was to tell that into the switch, so I'm just going to restart my capture, go back to my command prompt, and just do telnet. There you go. And again, I'm just going to press enter a few times. And now if I go back here and look at my three-way handshake, you can see the packets that came back from the switch. Now the window size is not 4K anymore, it's 65K, and SAC permitted is 1. There you go. So I'm not saying this works with all Cisco devices, but the ones that do take these parameters allow you to tune the TCP stack in the Cisco device uh, to get better performance. There you go. So the, the moral of this story is a few things. Number one is we had the before capture. We made a change and we had the after capture. And now we were able to validate that indeed the change did work and that we have the proper TCP settings that we wanted. There you go. Have a good day. Bye for now.